All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right. This lesson, I need to do these lessons because guess what? The experiences we go through as men of the Lord in this truth, we're not just given these experiences just to share it, with, just to keep it to ourselves. We go through experience to share with others so others can be inspired, so others can be built up. And this lesson is going to be, yes, exposing the program, right? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is exposing this man's program because really, who controls all things? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shem, right? This is a demonic program. Yes, the brothers that are going through it, they like to say targeted, right? As they say, targeted individuals which yeah but you don't really want to put that stigma upon yourselves right because names have meanings and they carry particular what 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 they call it Co connotations cogitations right so see it as no it is persecution but it's because you are different because you don't think how the rest of this world thinks right so because you don't think how the rest of the world thinks Guess what? You're going to be targeted. Right? You're going to be targeted. You're going to be what? Put on the program. And the program is an FBI program. Ready? It goes further back to Eastern Germany. It goes all the way back to Eastern Germany. It really goes back to the Nazis. Right? And this program is funded by Nazis. Right? It's funded by white, so-called so white, I want to say Edomite, supremacy groups. So yes, these are Edomite supremacy groups that don't like no one that speaks up against the system, right? The reason why you are put on it, everybody's put on it for a different reason. But the, the main reason is why there's various different reasons. You raise your vibration, just for that alone, they're doing. You believe in the scriptures, right? That's another reason. Um, you don't believe in the lies, that's another reason. So there's several reasons why you may be so-called targeted. Let's go to this word program, and that word program goes to an agenda, right? A bill of fare, curriculum, and we were all taught in the public full system, and we learned a particular curriculum, but then when you wake up to this truth, you realise the curriculum that they were teaching was off. Line up, see, which goes into conformity, listing, menu, plan, routine, right? So within this kingdom, you do know there's like routines, but there's your own routine. There's the routine of the scriptures <laughs> and your own, and there's a routine of this world, right? 1 p.m., lunchtime, all right? 3 p.m., do this, 6 p.m., the news, right? Do so it's programming. And yes, we all were born into the world of particular programming. That's a fact. But then you have to break free from that. And the only way you can do that is through what? You have a shite. Routine, prospectus, schedule, scheme, syllabus, timetable, TV program. Which you either get a word TV, television, television, and program. What do you think they're programming? Your mind to believe in what lies, right? And most of these broadcasters, these newscasters, they're witches. Most of these news newscasters, they're witches, they're warlocks, right? Performance, presentation, production, show. That's who it is. It's a show. And they're all actors playing their part. Transmission. So when you wake up to this truth, what was going to be happening? You were going to deprogram, right? Through this, and that's the only way you can deprogram. Through your Habashah. Let's quickly go to John. Right? 
The only way you're free from that is free. You have a shot. There's, there's only one way. Excuse me just a minute. There's only one way. There's not all these alternative ways. There's only one way. Alright? Esau wants you to think. If, you, if you're not thinking the way he taught you, he's got a problem with that. Why? Because he's a, he's a faggot. <laughs> I've got a passive aggressive faggot. Straight up. <laughs> okay. Excuse me just a minute. Yeah, straight up, man. Okay. And the program is deep. Excuse me just a minute. There's a lot of depth that goes into it. So I'm not going to explain everything, but there's a lot of depths that go into it. We're going to start with John because I want to let the scriptures come out more. Let's go to John, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. This is John 8. Yeah, basically it's, it's war, basically it's war on the citizens, right? And they use other people as well to monitor you, right? Let's go to John 8 and 32. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So that's all you need to know. All you need to know is you have a shy. And that's it. And once you know you have a shy, and you have a shy is the truth, well, what, what, you realize this, it's lies. Once you wake up to the truth, you realize everything you were taught was lies. Okay? That's why it's so important to know you have a shy. And that's what they feed. That's what they're feeding you. Lies. Okay? The devil is a liar. Okay? Let's go to 2 Corinthians. Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right? It's a spiritual battle. And guess what? That's another thing as well. The whole program, they lie. Right? They would let... Anyone they would go to, they lie to your neighbours, they go to your local supermarket, they go to your town, and they would spread lies, because they're demonic, right? And that's what the CIA and the FBI do, cause dissension. They're covert, they're witches, right? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, so we're not, look, we're not extremists, we're just teaching the scriptures, right? And if we were... Guess what? Don't you think <laughs> we'd be locked up? If we were doing any type of wickedness like that, we'd be locked up. So these people, they're not really too smart. I'm talking about the people of the world. They're not really too smart because they just buy into it. Or they take some money. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Why? Because the weapons of our warfare are what? The scriptures. Right? But mighty through the most side to the pulling down of strongholds. So guess what? We're putting down those strongholds. And that's another reason why you'd be what? Targeted. Because you're putting down strongholds. What do you think that's going to do? That's affecting. We're putting, and what are them strongholds? Them strongholds are barriers. So we're putting down them barriers. Them fortifications. Which are what? Lies, falsehood, deceit. And the more you do that, guess what? The devil doesn't like that. Because the devil operates on lies. Right? So this is what we're pulling down. Them falsehoods. Right, and them forces are strongholds because the only way this kingdom can survive is by lies. So when you have the truth being pushed, well, what do you think is going to happen? They want to try to silence you. Yes, it's an FBI, CIA program, right? It's a military operation. Okay. And it says casting down imagination. So guess what? The imaginations get cast down. That's why so, so much people get upset. Right? What you were taught. What's it, when it says casting down imaginations. What, what is that? The programming of this society. And every high thing that exhorted itself against the knowledge of the Mosai. So anything that's opposed to the knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. That's getting cast down. Whether it's the image of Caesar Borgia. That you were taught, which you worship in these churches. Right? All the lies, that's getting cast down. And bringing things to captivity. Every thought. Captivity is bondage. So every thought is being brought into captivity. Every single thought. To the obedience of 
to Mashiach, right? And having in readiness to avenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Right? We're going to get straight into this. Yes, this is a message to those of you that may be targeted. Right? Okay? Weak people, weak minded people, they're not a threat, they're not targeted. Right? Those that those that um accept the ways of Esau, they're not targeted, right? Even a lot of, a lot of men in this truth, because they are part of that programming, the false prophets. They are part of it. We gonna let the scriptures come out, right? And we're gonna explain before we go into more scriptures. We're gonna explain other stuff as well. Yes, you get neural monitoring. The neural monitoring is a device. Right, which someone's on the other end of it, a receiver, right? So you have a receiver, they would need to use that, whether it's satellite, whether it's your phone, and they what do they do? All they need to do is get your frequency, right? Get your frequency, connect that frequency and match it with your frequency, and that's it in real time. That is it. And that's how they track you and they confine you and they can do particular things send energy your way right but the scripture says there is no weapon let's go to isaiah 55 where was it where was it where was it isaiah 55 and for some reason i can't find it now 56 no weapon that is formed against these shall prosper so basically they use all these things and this new role monitoring so yeah, guess what? Your life is it's like a show, right? They broadcast your life. You're in your home as well. Yeah, cameras, all of that. These people, they're, they're narcissists. They're sadistic, right? They're wicked. They're control freaks. Esau wants to be God, but he's going to find that he's not a God. And the worst person to do that is to a member of the elect. Really, you shouldn't do it to no one. But the worst person to do that to is a member of the elect. Because you have a shy season and it's gonna jack your ass up. These are cowards. These are cowards. But they're told to do that, yeah, and they're following orders. Okay. So new role monitoring. Someone's on the end of a device, right? They're watching, they're setting up scenarios, they're telling pe people to go here, go there. He's leaving the house at this time. Bro, you have a shy can see what you're doing. But guess what the scriptures say? I can't remember all the scriptures are from top of top of my dome. Go to Timothy's. They're only fighting a losing battle. That's what that's what these demons don't understand. Right? They they use everyone. Right? Everyone they can, anyone they can get, they use. Okay. But the thing is, these individuals they don't realize they're being manipulated themselves. They're being watched. Right? And I think it's funny because it's like that much money, there's there's a lot of money that gets put into this program, right? To watch you. A lot of money. Because the funding, they need that funding. So it's a constant thing. And it needs the money needs to go somewhere. Right? And they hire, they hire people to do these things. Right? And they have people come around you, live in the neighborhood, all types of things. Let's go to Timothy's. But let, let, check this out. Check this out. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Yeah, and all that will live godly in Mashiach shall suffer persecution. So one thing I always say is spiritual warfare. Yes, it's spiritual warfare in the form of persecution. Right? People have been lied to. Right? Because they're lost. They don't know any better. Right? They've been lied to. Right? By these agencies they've been given false information false dossiers and that's what it is if really it's spiritual warfare that's what it is in a form of persecution but the scripture says you that will live godly shall suffer persecution verse 13 but check this out but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse so we know those that are doing evil and those that are trying to seduce because yes there's a lot of witchcraft everybody is used it's technology, black magic, 
right? What's it? Um, the De- what's it? What they call it? The llama, the llama. They using all that shit, right? But hold on, if it's not working, whew, you must be one powerful individual. You gotta use all of that, and it still ain't working. You gotta, you gotta hire what five hundred people more than to follow, to follow, and it still ain't working, right? To say things, to use certain trigger words, and it still ain't working. That must be one hell of a powerful individual. Weak people don't get put on this program. It's strong people. It's people that have something that others don't have. But evil men and seducers show wax worse and worse and worse. So you're going to see the same people that are doing these things, that are hired to do these things, you are going to see them waxing worse and worse. Right? And the tactics they use is the silent treatment. Why do they use silent treatment? To make you feel like you've done something wrong. That's called guilt tripping. What else? What else? What else? Um, hand gestures. They do hand ge- masonic hand gestures. Um, coughing, right? Spitting on the floor, which is a sign of disgust. Like, ah, oh, you're you're disgusting. There's a lot of gestures. It's all. Guess what? It's all designed to do to make you doubt yourself. Why? Because you have that power and you have that confidence in your have a shy. Be wise. Be smart. Don't let these people fool you. I said, is is. Is they're fucked up. They don't know if they're coming or going. They're easily manipulated. You're not. That's why you're targeted. Because you're not. <laughs> okay. You've got to understand the programming of this society. Okay. Um, what else? What, there's so many different things that happen. Um, the noise campaigns. All these things. But I'm not saying this so you can focus on it because guess what? They want you to focus on it. It only works if you focus on these things. That's the only way it works. Because when you focus on it, guess what you're doing? You're giving these people what? Power. You see, see how it works? So it's it's very um it's mental, it's a psychological operation. Right? And the nerve centers are involved as well. Like I said, they use um, energy weapons. All of it. These are the people that need to be looked up. And you've got people agreeing, not really knowing what's happening. So all of you that are involved, I'm sorry, your house is going to have to destroy you. Unless you repent. It's a war on the citizens. So don't. my whole thing is, don't focus on it. Know it's there. And the noise campaigns... Is to desensitize you the color schemes way over that now when i first saw it, it's like whoa what's going on but you get over that over some time they use the colors so in other words if you have agents that are wearing blue now you may associate that blue with a particular pattern oh that must be an agent it's called desensitizing so just take it for what it is and really if you have spiritual discernment you'd be able to discern anyway Right, and a lot of these people, you see them even before they, even before they see you. It's like, oh, mate, you failed. And to some of it, there's been a few occasions where I have said, bro, you've blown your cover, and watch their reaction. Sometimes, you know what? I don't want to say play into it, but sometimes you got to have a little fun with it. You know, just do that. Sometimes, just do it. Uh, I saw, I saw you, your bait, and watch their reaction. It's like, oh shit. So really, they, they're not fooling you. They're fooling themselves. Right, they've signed up to this program, <laughs> so the watchers are being watched. They're being watched. They have to report back to their superiors. So who's really winning? Congratulations, you have to follow me around. I'm the star of the show, just like you have a shy. He was followed. This is what you gotta understand. All that will live godly in your shall suffer persecution. Your shall was followed. He was followed by the Pharisees, so even the Pharisees were doing the same thing. They sent forth spies. He was followed by multitudes when he would leave people, the multitudes would follow him. So do, do you see the pattern? And keep your eyes single. Let's go to Matthew 6 and 19. Right, this is spiritual. You can't defeat this. You can't. You can't do this yourself. It's through Yahabashai. If it wasn't for Yahabashai, I would have turned mad. 
because that's what this program is designed to do turn you schizophrenic that's what it's designed to do or to commit that's what it's designed to do because once you're in a mental home Esau can give you all types of medication you got to be smart be wise be wise use your head stay in the scriptures stay in the scriptures right and that's why he has to use these what microwave weapons because the microwave weapons what does it do it has an effect on your brain right so this man he's a devil and there is things to um fight that as well in the physical okay let's go to matthew 6 and 9 22 the light of the body is the eye if the whole eye be single the whole body shall be full of light so part of this program this government agency program is to not have your eye single because if your eye ain't single guess what it's going to be turned to dark but if your eye single is focused on what on your have a shine right on the truth okay that's our energy that's our light source See, anything Yahabashai does, the devil wants to do it. But it's artificial. Neural, neural monitoring, that's some artificial shit. That's what it is. Signals, you need 5G, you need satellites, you need all that, you need sig <laughs> you need all that. You need a receiver on the other end of it. It's counterfeit. So this man, he that proves he ain't a god. And guess guess how you know it ain't working? Because if that was working, you wouldn't need people to follow you about. So it's not it's not working, is it? Okay. Oh man, they do all types of things. They they would use people to bang on the doors and all that. This just shows the power of this truth, right? Because if we didn't have power, they wouldn't need to do these things, right? And that's what that's what children do. That's what sport brats do when they don't get their way. They bang things. They slam on the door. So these people they're not very mature, are they? But if the eye be evil, that's a whole part of this is to have your eye evil to have you acting like them right to have you acting passive aggressive being a narcissist but if that i be evil the whole body shall be full of darkness always focus on the truth and the thing i love about this you know what some people say that's mad how could you love this program no the thing i love about this program it makes you see the wickedness that's actually going on even more wickedness within the society and it teaches us what long suffering patient right all these things and if you're not a believer and you're an israelite and you're on the program oh let me tell you it's going to make you a believer <laughs> it should so it, this should draw you closer to you have a shine but if that i be evil the whole body shall be full of darkness that's the whole point of this if therefore the light is in me darkness how great is that darkness no man can serve too much for he will hate the one and love the other Right, so we gotta serve you have a shine, or else you would hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve the most high and mammon. So we gotta to continue to trust in Yahweh Shai. And that's another thing as well. Because there's a sufficient amount of funding on this scheme, right? So a lot of people that are not that don't have any type of faith grounding. What did they end up doing? Going to drugs. That's another form of this as well. To get you on drugs. To get you going back to your old man. Right? So many people that can't handle it. What do they do? They go back to their old selves. Or they sell out. Right? That's another um, reason of this as well. To sell out. Right? There's so many. There's, there's so much. There's so much you can bring out concerning this. Okay? So now we went to that. What else are we going to get? Let's go to Proverbs and Psalms. There's nothing you can do to pluck the elect out of his hands. Right? This is Psalm 37. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Fret me to become easily agitated. That's what they seek to do. Right? Yeah, you're going to go to the store. You're going to have people try to cut you off, follow you. So flipping what? So what? And the main thing you want to do don't don't acknowledge it it's that it's weird it's weird it's a weird weird behavior weird they want you to notice them you don't acknowledge them that and guess what that pisses them off 
it pisses them off because the whole thing is so you notice them so you concentrate on that they want you to concentrate on that focus on the scriptures fret not thyself because of evil doers don't get easily agitated because they're going to be destroyed and you've got to imagine hold on what's serving you have a shy so if we're serving you have a shy and we suffer and we're getting jacked up can you imagine what's going to happen to these people that are doing that fret not thyself because of evil doers they're evil doers right neither be though envious against the workers of iniquity what are they working this is a working of iniquity right this is working of iniquity this is like a criminal enterprise and yes they also one thing i've noticed is the, the contractors they're also using these contract these government contractors that pose right as construction workers but really they're a private security firm so this thing is corrupt it goes deep it goes deep these people are satanic they are part of a sat sat satanic cabal right for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and with it as the green herb so you have in other words you have to go and deal with them trust in the lord you have and do good continue to do good they want you to do bad they want you to to act like them so shall I dwell in the land of Israel, very that shall be fed the light that's also in the Lord Jehoshua, and he shall give thee the desires of the heart in due time. Verse 5 Commit thy way unto the Lord Jehoshua, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Our desires, even on our enemies. You, yeah, you might see them smiling, having a good time, but you have just going to judge them. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. He's going to bring it forth. You have to be patient. And that's what I've had to learn. Yeah, this has taught me a lot of patience. Right? And you've got to see it as this. All right, do some of them know what they're doing? Yeah, a lot of them know what they're doing. Then a lot of them don't know what they're doing. They're controlled. Right? They're controlled by an entity. A wicked entity has them doing these things. Right? Remember, they're spiritually dead. Because if you were spiritually awake, if you read the scriptures... And you know what? Even within, within, it's lucky. Even with without having to read the scriptures, you would know, bro. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. No matter how much money you give me or whatever you say, but the people do it because if they don't join in, they would be stalked. They would be watched. They would be scrutinized. But it just shows you people don't have integrity, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, one verse seven. Rest in the Lord. You have a shy. And wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. You're fretting. I want it to happen now. Of course. I of course. You've got to wait on your Habashai. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. And I have explained several of them devices. Several. Right? Neural monitoring. Wicked device. And really, it's to get you, to get you linked up, right, to the grid, right. That's why they're building what these cell towers to get you linked up to a grid, to have your thoughts, your mind upon them, right. And they match it in with what their data, and they match it up with what different frequencies. Yeah, this man is a devil. And who do you think is who do you think he's using to do that? Who do you think he's using? What BT te telecommunications? All these people, they're all involved. They're all involved. This is deep. I didn't know I didn't know all this prior to waking up to this truth. So you learn a lot, you're supposed to take a lot from it. And it says, Baba Kasha, because of the man that prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, cease from anger. Bro, of course you're gonna get angry. But that's the whole look, they want you to. That's another thing as well. The reason why they do that so they so you could lose it and if you now if you were to you guess what you would be justified if you were to punch a punch this guy in his face you would be justified by what they're doing of course right but don't do that they want you to do that so they can say what we're gonna lock you up now don't fall into the trap right don't fall into the trap if you go outside their head with a baseball bat you'd be justified in doing that Okay, you'd be justified, but don't do it because they're looking. The whole part of it is to get you locked up, 
get you locked up, dead, or in a mental institution. That's the whole point of it, the program. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, cease from anger, forsake wrath, because really they're angry. That's what spirit they're in. They're a bunch of narcissists, they're a bunch of dead corpses. Right? And guess what? You've, <laughs> here it is, you're watching the elect, right? You're watching the elect. While you're watching the elect, while you're outdoors, your wife's probably cheating on you. Okay? Threaten not thyself in any wise to do evil. Don't do don't fall into the trap. The scripture says render not evil for evil. You gotta understand what the devil is doing. This is spiritual before it's physical. And you have a sense in control of everything. For evil doers shall be cut off. Right? But those that wait upon the Lord, you have a shall they shall inherit. The earth. So these people, they're going to be cut off. All the workers of iniquity. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yeah, they shall diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, the humble. That takes great humility. Look how Yahweh dealt with things. He was reviled and he reviled not. So what if people? So what if people want to laugh? And guess what? Guess what? Because your energy is so high, because your frequency is so high, because your spirit is so high. When you come around, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not laughing. At you, they're laughing because they're nervous. There's such a thing as nervous laughter, and that's a, that's another reason why people they do it because they see it as a form of control. I knew people like that in the world. They would laugh because they were nervous, <laughs> right? It's all a form of control and manipulation, right? And I'm not. I'm not um, I don't have no master degree or nothing like that on psychology, but the scriptures deal with all types of psychology. And if you have discernment, you're 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 the head psychologist. If you have discernment, you're the head psychologist. You could read people. So people know that because you have the Holy Spirit. So how do you think they're gonna feel? They're laughing because they're uncomfortable. Because they ain't shit and they know it. Okay. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the just. So this is all this is, this program is designed to do. To plot against the just. So they're wicked. Ah, we need to keep an eye on him. God knows what they're telling these people. They're, they're telling them all lies. They tell, what do they tell them? When you look up on this program, they tell everything. They say, um, extremist. He holds radical views. Um, what else? What else? He's a sexual deviant. Get the fuck out of here, right? So looking at um, looking at a beautiful woman, that's deviant. There's a difference. Deviant is you're you're following this woman. You're being creepy. That's a deviant. Not looking at a nice woman. Or how you doing, right? Because even Esau, he's got something now. Oh, please, uh, don't look too long. That's harassment. This man's a faggot. So even <laughs> even that now, if if you what, so you can't approach a nice woman? Huh? Is that harassment? Get the fuck out of here. We see what this man's doing. Right? The wicked plot against the just and natural for punning him with his teeth. Why? Because really, it's not us. It's the word that's cutting them. They're not right. They have a problem with you have a shy. Verse 13. But guess what? Hey, this is spiritual. The Lord shall laugh at him. We gonna have the last laugh. For he seeth that his day is coming. He so even knows his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword. What's that sword? The different legislations, the lies, the deceit. They tell, they, they tell these people anything. Your work colleagues. Even if they can, they even get to your family. They tell anyone. Anyone. Your friends. Oh, don't talk to him. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> even though you're doing that, you know, people are still inquiring. People are still coming up to me and inquiring of this truth. So you cannot stop it. Right? The wicked have drawn up the sword and have bent their bow, right? To cast on the poor and the needy and to slay. Such as be of an upright conversation. So they, they, don't, they don't want to speak in these scriptures. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bow shall be broken. So everything the wicked are doing, that's going to return back upon them. Everything. Everything. Okay? A little that a righteous man have is better than the riches of many wicked. Because... For this program to keep going, it needs funding, it needs funding, it needs funding. And guess what? Yeah, your money, your hard work, is going into that. It's going into these 
agencies that are being used to monitor you. Right? That's what it's going into, a lot of that funding. Okay? For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord Jehovah shall uphold if the righteous. So he's going to uphold his righteous men. And the Lord Jehovah shall know if the days of the upright and the inheritance shall be forever. Right? If you keep doing your wickedness. Let's go to Ephesians. You can't miss this. Double Kishar. And this is how the only way you battle is through the scriptures. There's no other, out, out, there's no other way outside of it. Excuse me. Right? These are some. It's, it's really it's, it's satanic. It's really, 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 this program is very heavily, heavily. It's a Luciferian, satanic, cabalistic agenda. Really satanic. Right? And yes, the, the government are highly involved, including the military. This is Ephesians 5. It's actually 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord Jehovah's strength and in the power of his might. That's what we're going to do. Put on the whole armor of the most high. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The wiles of the tricks. Right? So we got to put on the armor. Right? That you may be able to stand against the wiles, the tricks. Of the, and that's what this, this, again, there's a lot of tricks that are being used. And it's all to what? Have you doubt yourself? Gaslighting. Why do people gaslight? To try have you doubting your own reality. But with you being in the scriptures... You're dealing with reality, right? But you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And that's what it's going to come with. So you need the whole armor. Here it is, you're in a war. Someone's telling you, no, nah, just take off the vest. Take it off, you'll be all right. No, 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 no. That's someone, that's the enemy trying to disarm you. That's the enemy trying to disarm you. You leave the bulletproof vest on. You leave the Teflon on. you tell you to take it off. So what, you could be vulnerable. And the bulletproof vest would be the scriptures. The shield would be the scriptures. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So the people that are not doing this, you may be saying, well, yeah, it is evil, but it's the spirits in them. Principalities, they're working with what? Demons. Yeah, the military as well. Don't you know the military has a brotherhood? Don't you know every organisation has a brotherhood? Even the boxing. Yeah, there's even fraternities and boxing. The boxing has a brotherhood. The military have a brotherhood. Even in this truth of ours, you have a brotherhood. But the true brotherhood that Yahweh was speaking about was the elect. Not what these, um, the Pharisees, that was a demonic brotherhood. So you have brotherhoods even within the kingdom of darkness. Right? It's all interconnected. It's all woven. It's, it's a network. Right? So this is going to the network of demons. Right? But against principalities. These are the highest level of forms of spirits. And against powers. The powers that be. And against the rulers of darkness, which are the, the elites, right? And your different coverts of this world. And against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is what we're up against. In high places. And it all begins in what? The heavens. Right? There's a spiritual world going on. You have the right hand side angels, you have the left side, left hand side angels. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and have it done all to stand. Right? And they're able to do that as well. Project particular voices. They use amps. Yeah, they use amps. They use systems to try to project voices to make you, to try to make you feel like you're hearing things when you're not. Right? They ain't going to work with the elect, my man. Right? <laughs> they may have bird sounds. Bro, they got all of that. Project, type in Project Bluebeam. Right? They got all these things. They have the funding for it. Right? But the reason why they need to keep funding this, funding this, funding this, because it's not working. Right? If it was working, you wouldn't need to continue to do it. So it's obviously not working, is it? Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor, not some, all. Right? You may be able to what, withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod with preparation of the gospel of peace and about all taking the shield of faith where we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. As I'm doing this lesson now, it's not one or two people listening. Bro, it's thousands, even millions. Why? Because they're broadcasting. If you're on this program, they're broadcasting. They've got the technology. They're broadcasting every one of your videos. So every one of your videos are live. 
Even when you're not going live, because I never go live when my videos are live. Right? Why? Because they've collected this data and they've passed it on. Right? The devils. I know I know you're listening, but guess what? When it's all said and done, Yahab by Shem Yahab Shah is going to destroy you. Right? That's called intr intruding on one's privacy. Right? That's a weird old spirit. Okay? But you may be able to withstand an evil day and have it done all to stand. Is, is your life that shit? Is your life that bad? That you need to intrude on someone else's privacy? Stand there for having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Where you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, because then darts are being shot at us every single day. Right? Different schemes. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is this word, which is the word of the most high. Right? Praying, always with prayer. That's one of the most important things. Every single you can't go a day without praying. Every single day, pray. Anyone that's scheming on you, plotting on you, ill intent, right? Anybody has intentions to harm you, you can pray. And pray is free. You have faith, just pray. And pray a supplication in the spirit and watching them unto with all present supplication for all the saints. So with that, we also gotta watch. Watch for the sign of the time and the things that are going on within the world. What have you got? You got railway strikes again, more railway strikes, right? And what else you still got the prices going up, right? Of gas and so forth. And there was another one, I couldn't remember what it was. But all types of things are happening. In real time. Right? So with this, I hope this was edifying. I hope I, hope I covered most of the main points. And stay in the scriptures. That's the only way you're going to overcome. You can only, only overcome by your Habashai. And the elect have overcome in the spirit. Just need to be played in the flesh. It doesn't matter. This flesh dies every day. It doesn't really matter what Esau does. Fear your Habashai. He's in control. Not Esau. Esau wants you to think that he's in Esau wants you to think that he's the one who's in control. He's not in control. Yahweh is in control. Anything Esau's doing is because Yahweh has given permission him to do that. Just like Satan with Job. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shout out to the hopeful elect. Shout out.